There's a common misconception out there that all trans people hate our bodies or feel trapped in our bodies, but that's not always true. For most of us, it's just complicated, like a calculus exam or an ambiguous relationship status on Facebook. It's not that we hate our bodies, it's that the world we live in often makes it more difficult for us to have a healthy relationship with them. Which brings us to an important idea, gender dysphoria. In general terms, dysphoria refers to a state of unease or generalized dissatisfaction with something. So gender dysphoria is the term used to describe a state of dissatisfaction with your gender, with your body, or with how those around you treat you because of your perceived gender. Almost all transgender people experience gender dysphoria at some point in our lives. I know I certainly have. For many years of my life, I felt unhappy with the way that I was compelled to present my gender identity. But it wasn't as much about my body as it was about how my body made others perceive me. Because I have a typically male body, people expected that I should be masculine and should identify as a man. This social pressure made me feel pretty dysphoric about my gender and my body for a while. But trans people aren't the only ones who experience gender dysphoria or body dysphoria in our society. Just look at fashion magazines. If you're not a super skinny chick or a super buff guy, odds are you have some gender issues too. Most of us have some level of dysphoria with our bodies. We all have insecurities about how we look, and like it or not, a lot of those insecurities come down to the gender binary. If you're a cisgender man who thinks he needs to have bigger biceps and washboard abs, that's about the gender binary, about feeling like you don't meet the standards of what an attractive man should look like. And if you're a cisgender woman who feels like she isn't skinny enough or doesn't have a round enough butt, that's about the gender binary too, about feeling like you don't meet the standards of what a beautiful woman should be. It's time to demystify and destigmatize the idea of gender dysphoria. Most of us experience gender dysphoria in some shape or form. It's just that trans people like me might experience it to a greater degree than folks who don't identify as trans. So, instead of treating trans people like we're the only ones who have gender-based body issues, why don't we all work to create a world where the full diversity of our bodies and genders is celebrated and loved, okay? If we work together, no one has to live in a dysphoric world. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.